My name is Becky Molly. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Port Alberni, BC. Uh, my name is Brian Sloan. I am from Redcliffe, Alberta and I'm 18 years old. My name is Anna Ejic. I'm from Toronto, Ontario and I'm 19 years old. Braden Jones, I'm 18 years old and I'm from uh, Warren, Manitoba. Je m'appelle Emilie Rao et puis j'ai 17 ans et je viens de Langley, Colombie-Britannique. It's a five day conference and it happens in Ottawa every spring and we have uh, about 50 youth from all across Canada. I'm from Lockport, Nova Scotia, a little town, 750 people. It's just been fun meeting people around the nation like and getting to bond with other people like you and stuff. Everybody's so different yeah. and yet everybody's so willing to just accept yeah. those differences but not even that, just learn more about Yeah, them. like so. she's from BC, I'm from Sault Ste. Marie. Kettle Point, First Nation. I'm from Port Alberni, British Columbia, and I'm 18 years old. I was born and raised in Joe Haven, Nunavut. I'm 16 years old. I'm from Rosse, New Brunswick, a little small town outside of St. John, New Brunswick. Uh, my name is Miles Morrison. I'm 17, and I'm from St. Mary First Nation. I've been to meet different people from different cities and communities. I can find a person from every different province here in, uh, in this conference and uh, the good thing is I'm learning about their culture, about their background and about their uh, even environment uh, where they live and what type, of, uh, what type of projects they are involved in. So all the delegates have the opportunity to meet youth that share a passion and that passion is wanting to see change in their communities. Uh, they learn a lot about themselves when they're here in terms of what their leadership style is and you know who they are as a person. And we start talking about their role in their community and what would they like to see change. Ils apprennent le fonctionnement des projets communautaires. Donc, comment tenir des financements, comment planifier un projet, euh, comment tenir des bénévoles, euh, un petit peu avec la communication, comment engager avec les médias. And they also get to develop their own action plan on how when they go back to their communities post-conference, how they can put their project ideas into action. The participants themselves really bond during the actual conference. And that's actually a really important element of actually going home and doing something and feeling supported, is really being able to have that kind of trust and that group dynamic really support you. So it's not just you going back home afterwards and being left alone in the middle of you know, Saskatchewan or Manitoba or Nunavut or wherever you are. But instead, it's, you know, you're part of this community of, of other activators. It feels more as if we came here and we're in our comfort zone because youth are leading it. We're there for them whenever they need it. We can teach them lessons, offer support, you know, give advice. But realistically, it's their conference. They're the one that's dictating the pace and basically what they're going to learn. It's, it's actually motivational and inspiring that this conference is being organized by the, by the youngsters themselves. Only then can the youth see that it's possible to actually go out and make a difference if they see that there are people their age leading this conference. The message of Motivate Canada in terms of development menée for the jeunes is simply to make confidence to the youth. To say that when they have ideas, to really think and to help them to put in action. So I think that's the message that I have the most important to the youth. Usually there's a big generation gap uh, for all the stuff I've been involved in and having youth um, uh, initiate a lot of the activities, it's just easier to become involved. Youth Driven Development from Motivate Canada's perspective is looking at three things. One is positive youth development, and that is really looking at youth as having a lot to contribute, that youth are not problems to be fixed, but actually how they have the solutions. Youth engagement, where youth actually are involved in community projects. And the third aspect is actually um, community-driven development. So again, where youth go into the community and work within the community. And so Activate really pushes youth engagement because we don't want our delegates to do a project that someone else tells them is important to do. We want them to recognize what their community needs and what they want to do, and we give them the tools to actually go out and do it themselves. The more we listen, the more we learn. And the more we learn, the better we can make better informed decisions. So the key component in terms of listening to young people is, is listening to them. Listen to what they have to say. Listen to what their concerns are. Right? And then when you do that, and you show that type of trust, great things can happen. I've got to learn that 
even though I have all these thoughts to make a change, I really can. Because I mean, there's so many youth that have just made a huge impact in their communities and even in the world that I know even small things help. So I've been, I've been really getting that knowledge and confidence. It's, it's all inside of us and everything that we need, we're, like we have it, it's there. But the Activate Conference just pushes the right buttons and, you know, turns on the right things and gets the cogs turning in the right way and teaches you how to use the things that you already have. Every Activate Conference, without a doubt, what gets me the most is when you see the youth make that connection of, oh wow, I can actually do this. That people believe in me and that I already have the skills to do this. I wanted to start up a sports camp for kids in Scarborough, just in like low-income areas, areas where kids are more susceptible to things like drugs and alcohol. And so it's going to be teenagers actually coaching the younger ones. So I'm very excited. <laughs> I will start a youth community club. I will get people outside and active and off the couches. We've got lots of programs in my community for little kids and older adults and fitness programs, but I really want to target the youth that are my age. I'm running an organization which is Pakistan Youth Organization, which we are running an international project for the needy children in Pakistan. I really want to do my best to make sure that other kids could have the same experiences that I did. I will uh, go back to my community and try to stop kids from doing drugs by keeping them active in the community, because that's why I think they turn to drugs because there's nothing else to do and there's no good role models. I want to help people. I want to make people realize their own goals and let them go towards them so that they can help other people. Je veux aider les autres à être actifs et je rêve que tout le monde soit actif avec moi. Je rêve de monde où l'âge n'est pas important, c'est ce qu'on fait qui est important. I have so many dreams. I learned that anything is possible. can do something. Age is just a number. We do want to make change. It does not matter what age we are. Like that is no limitation on what we can offer this world. Young people have the imagination. This is our world too, that we aren't always just receivers, that we can be givers as well. We have fresh ideas and we have energy and we have enthusiasm and we want to give back. I mean out of all the philosophies, it's all about giving back because when you give back, you're going to get back. When it comes down to it, the youth that are actually want to be interested and actually want to do it, that's what we're here for. That's what Motivate Canada is really all about. Youth for the development. Youth engaging their communities, youth engaging.